From weekend warriors to professional hockey players, we all know exercise improves heart health. But how does a non-athlete's heart compare to that of a professional athlete? This is the science of St. Louis Blues hockey. So as a cardiologist, I can say that the heart is a team player. It supports almost every system in the body, and like every muscle, the heart gets stronger with regular exercise. So let's start with the basics. What keeps the heart beating? In each heartbeat, a cardiac chamber fills and then pumps. That lub-dub sound you hear is the sound of your heart valve closing at the coordinated time in each heartbeat. I know the heart beats faster during exercise, but how does it know when to start beating faster and how fast? So adrenaline is like putting your foot on the accelerator. So the hormonal systems are attuned to what the body needs. And the heart knows that the muscles need more oxygen because adrenaline is being secreted, which is telling the heart to beat harder and faster. Let's take a look at the heart rate throughout a hockey game. When a player is on the bench, his heart rate is a little higher than his baseline heart rate. So what this means is that the brake is currently off the heart, but the accelerator has not yet been activated. As a player anticipates a line change and gets ready to jump over the board, the heart's accelerator is activated and the heart rate starts to increase. This higher heart rate is sustained to respond to the body. As their muscles demand more oxygen, the heart pumps faster to deliver. So what happens when things get even more intense? With more exertion, the heart rate enters zone one, the endurance zone. Here, a player's heart rate is higher, but is below their anaerobic threshold. Anaerobic threshold is when our muscles start to accumulate lactic acid, and we feel that burn. As the player anticipates the play, their heart rate storms into zone two, the fatiguing zone. This comes out of price, however, as lactic acid and other metabolic byproducts builds up, causing body fatigue. Is there a limit? The heart can't just keep accelerating, can it? So there is a limit. The electrical system of the heart can only conduct electricity at a certain velocity, and this pace gets a little slower every year of our life. Are those changes in heart rate the same for a non-pro athlete? So there are two key differences between a professional athlete and us. First, the degree of cardiac remodeling that has occurred over their lifetime allows more blood pumped out each beat. And second, the efficiency of which oxygen can be delivered and extracted in our muscles. For example, an athlete's heart can navigate through the heart rate zones more smoothly. It is also able to return to a resting state much quicker. Can regular exercise also help increase your endurance? 100% yes. Individuals who regularly exercise improve their cardiovascular health. The goal of regular exercise is to improve your anaerobic threshold so it occurs at higher levels of physical activity. Okay, there you have it. I don't know about you, but I am pumped to get moving. 